Hey everybody, welcome back. Got a few new kits here I wanted to talk about. Obviously some of them are the same. Um, I've got multiples of, of some of the sames. Um, but I also wanted to uh, show you some of these new kits that I just got and talk about them just for a few minutes. So I'm going to set the camera up, move these out of the way so I can do them individually, and we'll talk about them. Just stand by. All right, so you've seen this kit before. I've built it on the channel before, and I don't think I mentioned about going to Ollie's again. I'm not sure. I don't remember. Anyway, regardless, I'm going to tell you about it again. This is the 69 Hearst Olds 455. I got it at Ollie's, and I know, I am sorry if you guys don't have an Ollie's, but check that out. $9.99. So they had these, I think I must have bought, I've given a few away, but I bought, oh, six or eight, ten, I don't know. Okay, so the reason I bought so many of these is I've built this kit. And if you hadn't already, go back and check out my video where I built this uh, just a few builds ago. I don't know, it's within a couple months ago. But I built this kit. It's a great kit. I love it. I love this one. And I also love the 69442W30, I think it is. Really, it's the exact same kit other than the hood scoops and the paint and the engine. But this kit, when I saw it at Ollie's, I was just so thrilled. Sometimes you find a kit that you really like. Well, this is the one that I really like. This AMT kit. Um, unfortunately, if you get this one from Ollie's, you're probably not going to get that lower, lower gold stripe here, um, on the build that I did, which was exactly this one. I've not cracked the seal on any of these, but it was the same kit. Um, didn't have that lower stripe, uh, other kits with different box art at different times. They did have it, but, but unfortunately these don't have it. But anyway, what a great find at Ollie's and some of you guys, um, I'm I, just my last video, short video when I was at Ollie's, um, said that you found out that you had an Ollie's that was relatively close. Go check it out because I'm pretty sure that Ollie's is offering their model kits. Most of the time, it's only at like Christmas they'll they'll bring some in, and it's a buyout store, so you never know what you're going to get. But if you do have an Ollie's, I recommend you go check it out. Um, these are on an end cap of a row. So just on the row, there's not a huge selection, maybe three, four, five different different ones, but go check them out. And uh, you cannot beat $9.99. I was, um, I think it was in the comment section of that last video. Someone from Europe, I can't remember your name or your, your, um, your YouTube name. But anyway, he said, Matthew, are unbelievable. He says, the kit's I can't believe you can get that for nine bucks or 10 bucks. He said they're paying upwards of 50, 60 bucks for a kit, hundred dollars for a truck kit, you know, a big truck. But anyways, we're fortunate to have these prices. Go, go check them out. All right. I'm just going to do another couple of Ollie's finds. Here's the next one that I just got again, nine 99. I actually got this for eight. It was like eight 49 because they had an extra 15% off at Ollie's. I bought two of these. Plymouth, I, I probably, if, if they have more and I'm and I go back, I'll get more. I just can't resist that that price and, and for a great model kit. And plus it's my favorite, my favorite uh brand. I love AMT. 1969 Plymouth GTX. What a cool car. So I was fortunate again when I walked into Ollie's last Sunday evening and I saw that they had different kits from before. They had the 69 Hurst Olds. They had this one before, when they first started having the kits, and they, and they didn't only had a few others that I really wasn't interested in. And then I walked back in a week or two later, and what do you think? They already had some new kits in, so I picked up two of these. It may have been three of these. Um, yeah, actually three of these uh, Plymouth GTX. So what a cool kit. Can't wait to uh, get one of these built. And because I brought, bought three of them, I don't have a problem at all. I'll open one up and I'll get it built. All right. Another Ollie's find, which I don't know about this kit. Somebody reach out in the comments and tell me is it any good because it's NPC. So sometimes you have to question, oh, is this going to be typical NPC as far as 
assembling difficulty i don't know um but here is again nine dollars and 99 cent for the mpc 72 pontiac gto again a uh, an awesome body style um when i was coming up i'm i'm just about to turn 45 um when I was coming up, I could I despised this year model type of car, whether it be a Chevelle, whether it be a Oldsmobile or a Buick or anything like that. Do you hear that frog in the background? Isn't that annoying? Um, it just rained here a little while ago, and he's wanting it to rain again. But anyway, back to the model kit. Um, but now it's like some people's taste change. Like they didn't like asparagus when they were a kid, but now they like asparagus. Although I didn't like asparagus, at, asparagus as a kid and I still don't like asparagus. But anyway, my taste did definitely change for um, 70s muscle cars. And what a cool car this is, an MPC. If you look at the engine detail, it does look kind of, doesn't look greatly detailed, but you know, that's not just MPC. That's, there's, that's a lot of them that are like that. But this would be a cool kit. I bought two of these. I believe yes two of these and when i saw mpc I, I was reaching like really eagerly and i was like oh hold on okay yeah i'll get them but um i was talking with lucas c on i had lucas c on a live stream with me and i asked him i said lucas c what's your favorite i said excluding tamia because everybody loves that but they don't build american muscle i said what's your favorite if you had to if you had to choose from what was it what did i say monogram reveal AMT, MC, MPC. I didn't say Johan because they've been out of the business for a while, but I said, which one would be your favorite? And he said MPC was his favorite, but he said they built the cars that he liked. And that's pretty neat. But anyway, here's an MPC 72 Pontiac GTO. And okay, so now here's one that I got off eBay. This is an eBay steal that I got. I don't remember how much I paid for it. I've had this thing for probably three weeks or better and i forgot to well i hadn't had any others to do a video with so i waited until now 29 ford model a one of my favorite cars of all time i would love to have a model a completely stock four banger and everything these are just the neatest cars to me they're so simple but yet they were such a neat reliable car in their in their time and they're not that expensive if you were to buy one. You can get a fully restored, well, okay, one that has been restored. It may be an old restoration, but you can get one that's in fairly decent shape for somewhere between fifteen and 20000 which honestly for a you know a Model A is probably not that bad. But this is an AMT Ertl Model A. I don't know if I'll ever build it. This is only a 2002, so it's not terribly old. I may build it. I don't know. But I found this on eBay. And I did my my typical um, technique of offering. I don't do I don't generally I don't do the bidding. I'll find all the kits that have the that you're able to make an offer, and I'll make an offer. By the way, I have a video for that too. If you if you have trouble with eBay or you question how to do it, I made a video not too long ago on how I do my my eBay purchasing. So I I only look at the cars that have uh, make offer, and I'll make the the seller an offer. It may not be what they want, but sometimes they take it and you can get these kits for not too terrible of a price. Kits are very expensive and they have gone up tremendously. That's why it's so exciting to see them at Ollie's and places like that. But um, yeah, I got this off eBay and it's a cool kit to set on my shelf. Okay, now you all, you guys all know that I like to deal with mark over at hobby nut models and if you haven't gone over to hobbynutmodels.com go over there and check out mark's inventory but i've just had some kits arrive from hobby nut and thank you mark very much and this is one of them jolly green gasser and this is a old ford galaxy i believe it is let's see 65 ford galaxy by amt a re-release by round two um don't know anything about this kit except i like ford galaxies and i thought well this is this is pretty cool so jolly green gasser again i got this from hobby nut models go to hobbynutmodels.com and check out that inventory the cool thing about hobby nut models is and i'll get to that in just a second is this is a new kit 
but you can get kits on there. Mark searches high and low and he finds kits that are, um, okay. For instance, this kit, you, 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 you may find this kit on there one day, an older kit, even with the plastic removed off of it, but still with the contents all, all contained. So Mark goes and searches and finds and buys kits and sells older kits that are still in new condition. If they're not, he'll tell you if there's anything started or anything like that. But you can go in there and you can find at a very reasonable price um, kits that have some age to them. And uh, I've bought several from Mark that I am so excited about. But here's one that I just got. Charlie Green Gasser, 65 Ford Galaxy. You can make it a drag car, or you can make it a lead sled, or you can make it a stock Galaxy. All right, here's another one that I got from Mark at Hobby Nut. And I bet my friend Chris Callen sees this. He would love to have this because he likes these big land barges. He just loves to build those. Chrysler Imperial 1959 by AMT. Again, a re-release by Round 2, the Retro Deluxe um, kit. So, yeah, it's a really cool kit big piece of Detroit uh, steel and this would be a really cool build so don't know if I will or not but this is a cool car thank you Mark for sending this over I appreciate it and uh, yeah cool kit alright another one from Hobby Nut that I just got is this Ford Lightning now here's a cool story just outside my door here is a 1994 Ford Lightning. It's not my Ford Lightning. It's my nephew's Ford Lightning. We have worked on his truck. The engine needed to be rebuilt, and I'll get back to this kit, but just telling you the reason I really wanted this is because the engine in his my nephew's truck needed to be rebuilt. I said, let's take it out. We'll just go ahead. It didn't necessarily need to be rebuilt, but it had some issues. And I said, well, if we're going to pull it out, let's go ahead and go through it. So we, we went through the engine, rebuilt it, did something that a lot of people will say is foolish, but we took the fuel injection off of it. We removed the fuel injection, put a four-barrel um aluminum trick flow heads on it um yeah big lanati cam um very cool i might throw a few pictures of that truck as i'm talking about this one the engine at least uh in before before i uh finish talking about this one um but yeah so i wanted this kit and i want to build it in reference to my nephew's truck so i'm gonna have to if i do build it that way i'm gonna have to the 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 engine will not be the fuel injected lightning engine like this. It will have to have an intake and carburetor and that would be cool, but I'd like to replicate his truck. But anyway, I got this from guess where hobby nut models. And this is, this is one of those that Mark has found because I can see where there used to be a sticker right here. So this was on someone's shelf somewhere, although you can still get this kit new. He's picked it up somewhere and you can get these at discounted prices. So go over there and check out hobby nut. This is going to be a fun kit to build AMT. 94 Ford Lightning. Very cool. And again, I'm up models. Here you go. This is a perfect uh, example. This kit is a, let's see if I can find the year, it's a 2009 release. Monogram 32 Street Rod. This is one I got from Mark. Um, I just got one from, um, hold on just a second. I got one of these from my friend. I don't want to forget who it was from. I, 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 James Maroon, I think is who it is. Let's see. James Maroon. Okay, so James Maroon has sent me one of these recently that he wanted to do a tribute build for the Marines. It was an exact kit as this. And you know, I'm kind of weird. If, if I build one, I always want to have a backup because I hate to see an empty box, no kit, and none to replace it with. So Mark said, hey, I'm getting one of these, or I just got one of these. Are you interested? I said, absolutely. Now this kit, thankfully, will be able to go up on the shelf. I'm going to build the kit that James Maroon sent me with the uh, Marine Tribute build, build. Go back if you want. I mentioned that there's a, a mail call video that I just recently did. And I, I, I mentioned the, the kit that James sent me and how he wanted me to do that. Thank you, James Maroon, also for doing that. But this kit, still sealed and in its plastic, Hobby Nut Models, Thank you so much. Guys, go over there and check out 
Mark's inventory, and you can find kits like this that are not on the shelf anymore, um, but they are on Mark's shelf, and you may be fortunate enough to, to get one. Now, here's something that may not fit all the way in the camera view. Yeah, it does. Ollie's International, what's it say? Transstar 4300 Eagle. And this one is not $9, but it was $19.99. You cannot get them any cheaper than that. But anyway, unfortunately about Ollie's, it is a very limited time. You Once they're out, they're out. And uh, we'll go back to our uh, normal resources um, to buy kits. Uh, anyway, so this is a International Transstar 4300 big truck. Has any of you built this? I don't recall seeing anybody build this kit yet, and I'm not sure if I would want to rip into it and build it because I have started at one time on a MPC. Now, this is AMT, not MPC, but I did start on a Mac DM600. Oh, my goodness, my MPC, it was horrible. I had to stop. It didn't fit right. I probably will end up going back and finishing that kit. But before I got into a huge headache, has anybody built this? If you have, let me know. How did it go? I don't recall seeing one on our Facebook group. Which brings up a great uh, uh, topic. If you have not gone over to Model Car Video's Facebook group, please go do so. Go over there and check out everyone's builds. It's a very cool way that we as a model community can share our builds with each other. Uh, model Car Video's Facebook group. It's going to be linked in the description below this video. And so will Hobby Nut Models. So it's easy to get to. Just go down. On your computer, on your phone, go down under this video, click on the description, or click the, open the description, and those two links will be there. Facebook, uh, actually Hobby Nut will be um, at the top, and then the Facebook group will be right down below it. So go and join our Facebook group. Post your pictures. Let me know in the comments if you've built this one too. And is it a great build? Is it hard? Is it tough? I don't know. All right, and last but not least, by no means... Again, another contribution from Hobby Nut, and this there will be a build video on this kit. Um, I'm also going to do an unboxing on this kit, a different video, but he sent me over this Ravel Germany um, Corvette. So I'm going to do a, a unboxing video, and then I'll do a build video on this. But when I opened it up today, I was I was really impressed. So I'll do a box unopening and kit uh, unopening or whatever you call those things so you guys can see this these are new kits uh, this is a newly released kit not one that's been hanging around a long time but these molds are brand new and um, very 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 interesting you, you wait till I wait till I have the unboxing video for this you'll say wow that's really really cool so I'll do that very very soon I may do that immediately following this video but Thank you all for watching, and thank you all for subscribing, and if you have not already subscribed, I would greatly appreciate it if you went over and hit that subscription button, and uh, it helps me out a lot. If you would hit the like button, that helps me out a lot, that's what they say. Uh, and also, don't forget to go over and visit HobbyNutModels.com, and don't forget to go over and join Model Car videos facebook group but that's about all i got guys um cool model car haul their model cars are so much fun to build they're so much fun to enjoy looking at on your shelves and if you're new to the model car uh hobby dig in it's so much fun so you guys have a great day i will have the opening or the unboxing of the Ravel 58 Corvette um, very very soon and again I appreciate you watching these videos thank you so much please like comment subscribe and I will see you on the next one you guys take care bye <laughs>